So, another open WebRx session. So today I'm going to show you how to receive IIS transmissions from ships, automatic identification system. So uh, here we have our open WebRx system. So I'll first uh, go ahead and add another profile in the 162 megahertz band to be able to receive those AIS transmissions by ships. So I uh, go to the settings page and on my SDR device I add a new profile that I call AIS 162 MHz. So the device that I'm using is a dual port as by ATF Plus and I'll add some settings here like center frequency, initial frequency, um, sample rate 768 kilo samples per second and we start off with a FM modulation and I'll apply that so um, I should be able to select uh, the new profile and yes here we are AIS and um, as my receiver is a, on a really good position here and we also have some ships that are producing AIS transmissions I should be able to decode some of those ship transmissions so okay they are already coming in so we have ships and special items here that are decoded you see that there are two channels uh, one channel is at um, 162.025 and there is also another channel here at 161.975 megahertz. So we have a lot of transmissions that are decoded by the internal AIS decoder of OpenWebRx Plus and the nice part about this that uh, those positions are also, the also shown on, uh, on the map. So when I switch on the map that is already showing a lot of stuff which can be deactivated at the moment. Also all those FT8 and FT4 spots we can see that there are a lot of ships in my hometown that are decoded by OpenWebRx and I also have the possibility to show some additional details uh, via Vessel Finder that is directly linked to OpenWebRx. So pretty nice feature here, a lot of ships floating around and we have the data in OpenWebRx.